What was your reaction when they just sagged off you for the start of the first quarter, just let you shoot? Did you think they were playing mind games with you? Like, what what, what is what goes through your head when a team does that to you? Um, first time it's ever happened to me. Um, honestly, I was a bit surprised. A little bit took a little bit of adjusting, but you know, uh, you know, I think we just took advantage of whatever that attempt was and just made the best of it. For the most part, my job is to, to get to the paint. We got enough three-point shooters on our team. So, you know, I don't take a lot of threes or for the most part throughout the season because we got enough of that. I get to the paint and I usually open it up for everybody else. But if you want to dare me to shoot, we can do that too. You know what I mean? I thought it was a little disrespectful, but, you know, we took advantage of it and we, and we didn't look back. Do you take that personally? It looked like you were exchanging some words with Draymond Green. How, how do you, how do you kind of look at it when a team goes to such great lengths to force you to shoot? Uh, it's never personal. I'm sure they thought that's what the, their best chance was, or whoever came up with that that defensive kind of concept. Um, so it's not personal. I, you know, it was a little disrespectful to me, uh, but you know, it is what it is. You know. I came out and I, I did what I do best. My teammates empowered me. It was like, you know what, like, we don't care if you shoot every shot down. And on this team, you know, it's about making the right plays, letting guys feel involved. And I feel like I've been doing that all season long and I'm gonna keep doing that, but like, don't get it twisted. Jalen, all year Joe has been really focused on keeping the past the past, the present the present, and the future, like focusing on what's right in front of you. Um, he said, you know, when the game's over, nobody cares. How tough is it to have that mindset, not only after, you know, a loss, but after a big win like this? Like even you mentioned this team beat you in the finals two years ago. How, how tough is it to just treat it as every other game and move on to the next game? Yeah, next game uh, mentality. You know, what happened in the past is the past, the new year, new team, um, and we focused on what's in front of us. and. And every single day is a challenge. And as they present itself, we accept it and embrace it. Um, so tomorrow it's going to present other challenges um, and the day after, next week, and so forth and so on. So I think we should just continue to focus on that. And that's what we do, you know, just focus on what's next. And we've done a good job at that all season. And I think when that adversity comes, we just got to be ready to embrace it. How much better do you think this team has been at just focusing on what's right in front of you than yours in the past? Um, I think this is the best, you know, group I've been a part of in that department. Um, I think that we have experience, we've grown, we've matured and to certain extents. We've seen a lot of different variations of a lot of different basketball. So I think we are, we're primed and we're ready. Jalen, can you describe your personal mindset and also kind of the team's mindset against, you know, this opponent? this game obviously trying to make a statement given where they've been and where you want to go because it came like you felt see when you came out and you're looking for Steph Curry you had obviously a little extra um, energy it seemed like uh, at the start yeah I mean and that's credit to them you know they uh the Golden State Warriors have been the best team in basketball over the last 10 or plus years so um absolute nothing but respect on our behalf, and I think that's exactly how you show it, as you come out and you uh, and you play hard and you compete, and that's what we did. You know, from the start to the from the tip. You know, I started on Curry. You know, started with my pressure, and it just followed throughout. And I think that in those moments when we have that same mentality, everybody was on the same page. It would be tough to beat. John, I know you said that approach wasn't personal to you, um, but are there ways that it, it fired you up? Like Joe said, us he thought. You picked up your defense even more afterwards. We saw you like egging on the crowd, which you don't always do. You know, the backcourt on stuff, you were pretty fired up. Were there ways that kind of fired you up emotionally? I guess that's kind of fair to say. You know, um, obviously it was a little, you know, caught me and everybody by surprise. You know, maybe it was some type of mind game, you know, they were trying to play. Um, but it, it definitely engages you, definitely, you know, heightens your focus on offense and defense. And, uh, and tonight, after after those moments, after the first, you know, or during the first, you kind of saw the um, it play out. Jalen, third 50-point win this season. How do you guys stay grounded when you're just blowing teams out of the room? Um, just stay. It's um, how 
I think just having the right mentality and being humble in our approach um, on any given day or any given time, we could be on the other side um, of that. And we've had some, you know, heartbreaking losses and and things not going our direction that kind of cultivates that humility that you know we, that we play with. Yeah, it's a it's a, a privilege and an honor to be on the team to be able to do that and perform that. Um, but at the same time, it's a humility that, you know, at any given moment, things can change, things can shift, things can not go in our direction. So we just got to take advantage of the moment. Jalen, you talked about you guarded Steph a fair amount today in the first half especially. Um, did you ask for that assignment or did that come from the coaching staff? Um, it came from the coaching staff, you know, maybe earlier in the, in the year, I would have had to ask for it. But now it's kind of like normalized. Uh, you know, yeah, they, the coaching staff assigned me to Steph. They want me to pick him up, uh, make it hard for him, try to create some turnovers, and and that's what I did. And, uh, you know, it's tough. You know, like I'm 240 pounds chasing around Steph Curry. You know, that's a different level of shape you kind of got to be in. But, you know, when you know you're playing against one of the greatest, um, I'm going to sign up for that challenge. And then that did include a couple turnovers, including the backcourt violation that got you fired up. Does taking on a matchup like that give you added fuel? For sure. You know, I think I, I view Steph as one of the greats of all time. You could put him in the top 10. Um, and, you know, he's been able to, to, to dominate this era in the last 10 years. So it's, it's the ultimate level of respect, um, to be honest. And, you know, um, and that's all I view it as. Jalen, what's it like when you know they can't guard you? When you're scoring 82 points in the in the first half, and then they bench Draymond, Clay, and Steph for the second half, they don't even come out. What's that like to know that a team can't guard you? Um, it, it feels great, but at the same time, it's you know it's always within humility. Um, at any given point, you know that could be us, and you know we don't take the game for granted. Um, we didn't we didn't come out and mess around um, and that's just how you know we show our respect to the game is that we handle business and take care of it but we don't do it arrogantly um, we do it with humility and it's a lot of respect for the Golden State Warriors um, but we feel like it's our time now presented by your New England Ford dealers built for America built Ford proud